Hey everybody, all you YouTube and Facebook fans out there. Uh, my brother suggested I, an idea that I show you my little kitchen studio here. So uh, give me a moment. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll show you uh, what I have to work with and uh, as far as space and the confinements. Alrighty, so this is my kitchen uh, in the apartment where I live. Uh, it's a galley style kitchen. Uh, as you can see, it's bigger than most. Uh, one of the reasons I rented this apartment is the kitchen is bigger than most what most apartments have. It's got a lovely tiled floor, which has been uh, resulted in many a broken plate or glass. Uh, but easy to keep up clean if something spills on the floor. I have next to my refrigerator here a little shelf that has uh, storage for beans and uh, macaroni, pasta, stuff like that. All of my dish towels, my Instapot sits there. Uh, I have a dining room table right now that's covered all up. Sorry about that. Uh, my refrigerator and freezer with a microwave up on top. I have a dishwasher. I won't live in an apartment without a dishwasher. I did that when I lived in Los Angeles. Uh, it was interesting and fun for the first couple months. I enjoyed it, but then doing dishes got to be a pain. Uh, I still wash certain dishes by hand. Uh, my food savers in the corner here. Uh, my vacuum sealer, my KitchenAid mixer. This is my knife set, one of the best investments I've made in my life. It's made by Calphalon, and it's a really good knife set. It has taught me quite a few lessons. I'm sure fellow chefs know what I'm talking about. Uh, long story short, knives can do some interesting things to the human skin. So... Uh, my sink, it's a double sink, gets the job done. I keep all my flour, sugar, and rice in these glass jars uh, on the counter here. Uh, I keep all my utensils in the corner. Uh, the plastic, uh, plastic, uh, plastic ones, the metal ones, and the stainless steel. So they're always available to grab. My can opener and toaster here. There's a uh, bottle of olive oil and a couple bottles of wine there. I use wine occasionally when I'm cooking. Uh, there is a bottle of vodka back there that you can't see. And I use that when I'm making pie crusts. My stove, a typical four burner stove, it's electric. I wish it was gassed, gas, but it is not. And of course the oven. And over in this corner, I have my stove top percolator. Uh, that's basically an old fashioned coffee pot. And then I have the modern day coffee pot. I used to have a Keurig machine that took up almost all that counter room. Um, I got rid of it because uh, the novelty, I guess, wore off, and the and the uh, the coffee pods just got to be too expensive. So, I have several cabinets in the kitchen. The one on the left there contains all of the canned goods that I buy from the store. Uh, up at top has all of my oils and uh, crackers and things like that. This one to the right contains uh, some pasta and uh, baking goods and things like that. Uh, overflow flour, sugar, and stuff like that. All my dishes are in this uh, cabinet here. All my glassware is over here to the right of the sink. And up above, I keep all of my plastic storage containers up there. So, and I've got... Uh, a lot of cabinets down below that holds all my pots and pans and 
Uh, of course, there's under the sink storage, which we, we won't open that up. Uh, you know what your under the sink storage looks like. There's some storage at the bottom of the oven that's not a broiler. Um, so I keep pie pans and uh, bread loaf pans and things like that down there. My corner's a little cluttered because, like I said, I don't have much room here. But there's my uh, water bath canner. Here is my uh, pressure canner. Uh, roasting pans and some pie tins. Uh, my uh, deep fry deep fryer, which I try not to use too often. Then I have this huge, let me see if I can get a good picture of it. I've got this huge rack, standing rack here, metal frame, that on the bottom I keep uh, some more roasting pans and lasagna pans, things like that, baking pans, uh, the muffin tin, the cooling racks. I've got a rice cooker back there. The second second shelf contains all my cheesecake pans, uh, a waffle maker, and my sheet pans. And then I have two two shelves of nothing but pretty much spices, and uh, just got about every spice that you could think of here. And uh, up on the very top, I keep my colander and mixing bowls. You'll see my food processor back there. Uh, my soda string machine, which I still use occasionally. And I've got all these things hanging on the shelf on hooks. I found these hooks online, but uh, they hook right onto the metal shelf and I'm able to store some more utensils and things uh, that I don't have room for in drawers as well as uh, all of my uh, oven mitts and uh, such. I keep a bag of onions usually always hanging here. Uh, on the back side I have all of my canning uh, lids and bands and uh, a few other things in there. And I keep a bag of all of the, the bags you get from the store. I always have quite a few of those on hand. So it is quite the... Uh, uh, excuse me. It is quite the uh, tight little setup. That's why sometimes on videos I'm not able to get the best angle. Uh, but I do the best that I can, and I hope that works for you. Uh, if you see on my videos, I always look up. Well, that's where my clock is. So uh, usually I'll tell you what time it is or whatever. Uh, here in Tucson when I'm getting ready to cook. So that's my little kitchen. Uh, it, uh, it gets the job done. Alrighty, I just thought I'd share that with you. We'll see you. Bye-bye.